Hello, do you think a $50 camera can give you good lunar and planetary images? Let's find out in the video review with the SV Boni SV105 planetary camera. Hi everyone, I'm John from Galaxy Air Media and welcome back to the channel. SV Boni brand sent me this nice planetary camera, the SV105, to make a review. This is a super affordable camera, you can find it at about 50 US dollars or 45 euros. And I was very curious to see what results I can obtain using this camera on the moon and the planets. And if we open it, we have this small instruction manual here. And here in the box, we do have a USB cable, the camera, and a cleaning cloth. Okay, so the unboxing was very fast on this camera. So we have here the Ezuboni camera and the USB cable. And what was very interesting, it has two USB cables to connect on your computer. One is needed in case the camera will need extra power. Maybe if you have an older laptop and it does require more power, you can plug these two cables. And it has also a USB cable for connecting to the camera. This is a USB B cable, you will connect it like this here. So it's very simple to use, just connect the cable and then you can plug these two on your laptop. Okay, so I have did test it with one cable and two cables on my laptop and I could not see any difference. But you can try it and see if uh, it will improve or not on the frame rate. Okay, so it is very simple to use. I have a laptop here. Okay, so this is the main, the main USB cable. About drivers, you do not need to install any driver, so it's just plug and play. After you'll open SharpCap, you'll have two uh, color space available, MGPEG and the second one is YUI2. They are both compressed color spaces, so uh, you'll not get the best image quality compared with more expensive cameras, but on UI2 color space you should get better quality on the moon images when you do not require faster frame rate. So I will show you in a moment the results that I had with these color spaces and also the frame rate. We have here a 2 megapixels camera with a small CMOS sensor of 5.76 millimeters by 3.24. So very small sensor but it's good for lunar and planetary imaging. Now if you want to connect it on a smartphone, you need here an USB hub and depending on your smartphone, here I need an USB-C cable. Now I will connect here the USB-C cable and it detected the camera. Okay and now I'm Recording directly from my smartphone using the SV Boni 105 camera. I have this USB hub that will connect with an USB C cable to my smartphone. And it draws all the power from the smartphone, so it's good to have your phone charged. But it seems it, I was like 38% or something like this, and it still works okay. So you can see it has a long cable, 2.24 meters, and yes, it was also connected to a smartphone, so this is with a phone. I, I thought I would need a power bank, but it works even just with a, only with a phone. And of course you need a telescope, for this I'm using this with Boni, 501p. At the moment of this video, with the discount code, you can buy it at around 75 US dollars. And the camera is around 50 
US dollars. So at a low budget, if you ask, can you do astrophotography? Yes, you can do even with a smartphone. Of course, you won't have the same options like in SharpCap. So I still recommend you to use a laptop with SharpCap if you do have one. As I said before, this is straight plug and play, very easy to use. And if you do not want to spend a lot of money for an astrophotography camera, this super affordable camera from SV Bunny is the solution. In the second part of the video, I will show you also the results that I've obtained using the SV Bunny 105 camera with my Skymax 127 Maxotov on Jupiter. And also, I will show the results that I got with the SV Bonnie 501P telescope. So, if you want to really uh, go on the budget and invest uh, only about $150 or $160, uh, you can go and buy the SV Bonnie 501P with the discount code that uh, is currently available at the moment of this video. You can buy this telescope at around $75. US dollars and with this camera at $50 you can buy them both so with this camera at $50 you can get them both at about $125 and if you want also some accessories then you might spend maybe another $50 but anyway this combination it can give you some nice results at a very low price incredible so this is uh, this is affordable for I would say everybody. It's not a, an expensive setup, and if you are interested to start your journey in astronomy and without spending a lot of money, you can try this kit, the SV Bonnie 501 p I have a full review, so make sure you check this uh, video out. So to be able to use the camera with a telescope, you need a diagonal mirror like this one, to place it directly into to the diagonal mirror or if you want even better quality then you will not use the diagonal mirror and you will use an extension tube for a 1 quarter inch focuser you need a smaller extension tube you need a 1 quarter inch extension tube and for 2 inch focusers like uh, my Skywatcher Skymax 127 you need a 2 inch extension tube like this one we are ready to image with the SV Bonny camera. The second way to use the camera, like I used it here with my Skymax 127 to capture Jupiter or details of the craters, is to use a 2 times barrel lens. I have it here, connected to a 3 cm extension ring, it's M48 here on the barrel side, 1 quarter inch adapter for the camera. So, to use this barrel lens properly, you need a shorter distance from the Barlow to camera sensor. The Barlow case, this metal case, will offer a higher distance and if you use with an astrophotographic camera, it will give you 2.5 Barlow. So what you need to do, remove the Barlow lens from here and just place it in a similar configuration like I did. I have around 6 cm from the Barlow body to the camera body. Now, other accessory that you might find useful is this 5x Barlow lens. I bought it from SV Bonnie and you can find it at around, I think, $20 or 18 euros. I will share the links of the, these products into, in the description. And you can just place here the Barlow lens. And in the barrel, you just you will place the SV Bonnie camera and you are ready to start. Other accessories will be a one quarter inch reducer. We will screw it here directly. So using this reducer, it's about I think around thirty dollars or thirty five dollars. And what is nice that you'll be able now to capture the full moon disk using the SV Bonnie camera and a telescope like the SV Bonnie. Also you will need it for the Maxutov telescope if you want to capture the full moon. And let's see what we have here. MGPEG 
uh, it's running very very slow on 9 milliseconds okay let's lower the resolution a little bit and let's see how it will change now it's getting 30 so we have now all the moon in the frame with this reducer okay let's go 100% we went 100% but now we have clouds so let take a quick capture 1000 images but yeah we do have a lot of clouds so with five times by low you are limited to short videos if you do not have a star tracker so i'm testing now with the sv bonnie sv105 camera I'm using the GSO 0.5 and it seems very good. We have around 400 millimeters now with my Maxotop instead of 1500. Unfortunately, we do have some clouds, but on 50 euros, the quality is decent. So you can get nice videos of the moon that you can stack and you can use sharp cap. We have option here only for MGPEG and U2 on color space. Here we have AVI, we have the other options, I will leave AVI. We can set the exposure, this works okay. Gain, brightness, sharpness, saturation, I have left this on default. Okay, let's do uh, histogram 65, I think is okay. So, now let's go 100% and change the resolution to maximum and i'll go 50 percent let's see the framing star capture and another one star and let's go to 100 percent this camera is only 50 euros and also has an ir cut filter you can use it with sharp cap and do some planetary imaging until you have budget for a more expensive planetary camera one nice result on saturn with a telescope like the maxotov with this budget camera you can get beautiful results on the planets and also with beautiful captures of the moon okay now let's zoom again at 100 I think I'll change the resolution now, so I'll go faster, let's say 800, 600, 30 frames, let's see this one, to go 30 frames, I'll need 800, 600, start capture, one minute, start, so we have from 25 to 30 now. Okay, and change color space. So let's start capture. Start one minute, 30 frames. But we'll check this color space also. Let's zoom in 200%. Okay, we can see Jupiter and two moons and the bands of Jupiter. Okay, so if I do change the resolution, let's go to 100, if I do change the resolution here to maximum, it will drop at a few frames per second, 5 frames. If I go 1880, it will be around 10 frames. And if I go 800-600, it will be like 25 frames so this is is actually good let's take the last one start capture and start here is the final edit of jupiter that i've stacked and sharpened in registex and i did also a few adjustments in photoshop 
the results really did impress me. This was my review for the SV Boni 105 planetary camera, super affordable camera. I do hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. And if you did, do not forget to subscribe, click on the bell notification so you won't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you soon in the next one. I wish you clear sky.